Hey Pisces, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for April 30th through May 2nd. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. The heart of your reading, we have the star in reverse. Wondering about the meaning behind it all. What's your purpose? Feeling like that might be lacking in your life. A sense of purpose, a sense of living your destiny. A challenge is a lack of clarity about this topic. Um, a lack of concrete fact or truth. Ace of Swords reversed. Your focus, we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Swords reversed. A revelation about um, how material things don't hold the meaning that they once did for you. Too many. I just had like 11 cards fall out of the deck all at once, so I'm just reshuffling. You're at, you're going through a really important internal debate here, like definitely shifting priorities. I'm picking up on, um, I think you don't even understand why it's happening, but there's this resistance to things that are earning you money. Show me the recent past. Two of Pentacles. Feeling like you are overworked, overburdened. You have a lot on your plate. You're maxed out in terms of what you can handle. The energy of the environment, we have the Four of Cups. I can't handle any more. What I'm focused on what I'm focused on right now is the maximum that I can handle. Show me the near future. More decisions with the Two of Swords. Yeah, you're still... This isn't something that you can decide overnight. It's, it's a a bigger concept than that. With the devil at the bottom of the deck, it's going to involve overcoming some self-limiting beliefs. And resisting the pressure to do more. Other people in your environment keep offering you things or asking things of you, making requests of you. And you're already maxed out. And I'm just feeling this overwhelming, like, none of this matters anymore. And it, that's, that's an oversimplification. It's, it's way too broad for what you're experiencing, but it's just like the core of the emotion of what I'm feeling is just like, Things that used to hold meaning for you don't at the moment. But it's not in like a, a spirit of despair or depression. It's just like... Something within you is shifting. Something within you is emerging, is growing. You might be experiencing a spiritual awakening. 
and the things that you, your human self, your egoistic self, used to prioritize, used to enjoy, are now not as pleasurable, not as meaningful. So you're making new decisions in accordance with your new perspective. Show me surprise energy. King of Swords reversed, making some harsh cuts. Eliminating things out of your life. Perhaps very suddenly and unexpectedly to those around you. Despite advice you might be getting, despite requests you might be receiving. This cutting out, this kind of um, setting limits or cutting ties energy could have to do with this Four of Cups energy, like people who are coming toward you making requests or trying to engage with you. You're like, no, 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 no. Saying no to those requests, saying no to those appeals, to those invitations, to those offers. Show me I want to back up before we go to your hopes and fears. I'm getting that there's, well, it's an obvious connection with um, the Ace of Swords here as your challenge. The King of Swords is holding that reversed sword. It's like, well, I've found my personal truth. I've found a greater measure of what's important to me, what my guiding principles are. And the reversal could be that you still feel uncertain or you still feel at odds with either your former self or the people around you. Show me hopes and fears. What is Pisces hopeful for? What are they concerned about? Ace of Pentacles reversed. You might find it very difficult to tell people no when people are coming in offering you something or making a request of you. Like turning down an opportunity or an offer could really like feel wrong to you. It's also connected to this choice that you're making because when you have this, I'm very busy, I'm maxed out, the, the question is, well, what are you going to eliminate? What are you going to hold on to? What are you going to build on? And you still feel uncertain about that. The ace is reversed. Like, well, I could do this or I could do that. You're like weighing your options and neither one is kind of rising to the top as the obvious choice which is making the, the, the choice all that, all the more difficult. How do these energies resolve for Pisces? Ace of Cups reversed. couple of possibilities here. Because I've been using this analogy of the Four of Cups, the one cup that comes into your situation as an offer or a request, that might diminish. The problem might be eliminated from the other end. Like if you're feeling overwhelmed by people making requests of you or making offers to you, wanting to connect with things that are important to them. The Ace of Cups reversed could be a retraction of that energy. Like you're going to see less and less um, unwanted 
decisions. I don't know if that's making sense. Like, uh, this would be like, um, hey, do you want to go do this this weekend or do you want to do that? Hey, I read about this, um, this movie we could watch on Netflix. Let's do that. It sounds really interesting. I'm sure you'd love it. Whereas like, you, you might feel inundated with that sort of thing, like requests or inquiries or appeals to connect emotionally. You've got a lot on your plate right now. You're dealing with some deeper issues. And it's almost like you need for that energy to back up and allow you the space to make some important decisions. There's a lot of new energy coming in here, but all three aces that have shown up have been reversed. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, all reversed. That potential can't unlock until you work through this choice that you need to make. Let's get you some advice. How can Pisces work with these energies for their highest and best good? The Hierophant. You already have an established way of working through this, whether it's a system that you learned in your youth, something your parents taught you, something a religion taught you, um, you have a set of rules or a code of ethics to follow here that's going to be your guiding principle. And if that's the case for you, this Hierophant is asking you to fall back on that and rely on that. It's going to, be, it's going to provide you with a framework to make the decisions that you're faced with. Now, If, that's, if that part doesn't resonate for you, the Hierophant can also be talking about establish, establishing something for the long term. So as you're weighing priorities, what's more important to me? Well, you can determine like, what is a fleeting pleasure, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, versus what is something that's going to stand the test of time? What is something that's going to set me up for prosperity and abundance for the long term? So prioritizing long-term things versus fleeting things. So Pisces, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you back on Sunday for the weeklies. Bye.